Our next guest is a former WNBA player and Olympic gold medalist with a son who's also a professional baller. And now she's sharing her life on and off the court in the new OWN Network reality show, Mama's Got Game. Take a look. <laughs> JaVale is the first player in the NBA whose mother played in the WNBA. The Kennedys do politics. The McGees, we do basketball. I got 10 rings if I wanted to. I could wear a ring on every finger. While I was winning championships, I was a single mother raising my baby. Now I'm both his mother and his business manager. Y'all want to get a deal done, then y'all should have sent me the stuff at 2 o'clock. And good luck managing a 7-foot, 25-year-old millionaire. All right, Pam McGee, <laughs> welcome to Arise 360. Thank wow. You. That's an interesting job you have there. I mean, I get all emotional when I Aww. see him. He's just, you know, he's a grown man now. But he's, he's still your baby, baby isn't he? He's still my baby. Right. And he plays in the NBA, and he actually signed a $44 million deal. My goodness. That is huge. And you're his momager. I'm his business manager. Business manager. Yes. Not, you don't like momager? No. Okay. Because <laughs> business manager, because I'm in the sports industry, and very few mm -hmm. women do what I do. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes I handle all of his financial providers. People don't understand when you're a man of wealth, you got a commodities guy, you got a uh, banker, you got an auto mm -hmm. guy, you got an agent, and all these people are on your team and they make money off of you. So sometimes they'll call me and I sign their checks and mm -hmm. they'll say, well, we didn't want to think we had to call his mother. I said, no, you have to call his business manager. Oh, and do like what that. you're supposed to do. Business <laughs> woman. So how did you get the NBA to cough up so much cash? Tell <laughs> us. Well, I mean, my son is an enigma. I mean, he's mm -hmm. a talent that no one has ever seen before. He's a seven-footer that can jump out the gym. He has hands mm -hmm. of a guard. He got the speed of a guard. So it was a lot of teams that wanted that, my son. But, you know, we're happy that he signed his big deal. And so um, we did the show primarily because, you know, basically when they pitched the idea to me, I said, well, we need to do reality TV for it. Didn't you know what my son signed for? <laughs> <laughs> we don't need the money. Right. We got money. And, and also, I had already, you know, I'm a Hall of Famer. I had played mm -hmm. in the WNBA, played over in Europe. And I said, you can Google me. I don't need to be famous. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I got that. approached by Sony Television. Holly mm -hmm. Jacobs is the president of reality TV for Sony. And she says, Pamela, we need to have different images in the media. Mm. Now, not only as uh, Holly is my vanilla sister from another mother, uh -huh. she said, we need to show, because all of my girls are actually my girls, like what Candy said. No, these are my girls. Mm -hmm. we like actually friends. We've been friends for 30 years. Mm -hmm. They got my back. We played ball together. And she said, you know, these ain't trophy chicks. These are mm -hmm. chicks with trophies. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. I like it. <laughs> Put that on a bumper sticker. <laughs> and, and it shows women like Candy. Candy mm -hmm. handles her business. She sure does. You know, and so um, I can respect that, and I think as African American women, we got to show different images. Mm -hmm. You know, Candy has a man, but it's hard to find men that make more money than Candy does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that's just her reality. So sometimes we come out of that old school, but there's been a paradigm shift. There has been. And so I'm calling it the Amazonian discombobulation. Ooh, Ooh. Amazonian. I <laughs> the like Amazonian that. The Amazonian discombobulation. <laughs> Amazonian. How tall are you exactly? I'm 6'2". 6'2". Wow. wow. But what I'm saying is, you know, I'm not at 50. I realize that I ain't got to apologize you for You are not 50. 50. 50. And Shut fabulous. the front door. And fierce. And, oh, I like that. You and okay. Michelle Obama. Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. And them good jeans. But jeans. that's the standard. Once, <laughs> right. once President Obama was, was elected president, he pulled in with a beautiful sister. Mm -hmm. No, a real sister, not a fake sister. Mm -hmm. You know okay. Michelle is from the south side of Chicago. She sure mm -hmm. is. Graduated from Princeton. Mm -hmm. Walked in the room and Obama said, wow. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing like that to see black on black love, a sister that, you know, and what mm -hmm. I say is like the Cinderella story and what we're showing in our show is we need young girls to know you can ride up on your own white horse mm -hmm. and then your, your man need to ride up on his own white horse. I like that. Mm -hmm. But we don't need our sisters to be out there. You got to sit back and somebody got to rescue you. Now we're mm -hmm. doing our thing. And brothers are going to have to look at the paradigm shift. I like look that. Look at it. Yeah, I'm the good. discombobulation. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell my single about friends. you and how you juggle mother and management and how do you know which hat to wear at what time and you really and it, it is a very catchy mm -hmm. line because I'm his mother and ultimately my goal as his business manager I'm raising a man and we talk about that in the show mm -hmm. this is his he's 26 wow. and so um, he's he's doing his own thing and I've mm -hmm. trained him and so now I'm trying to release him in to manage this and make some more conscious decisions on his business ideas but I had to embrace him and now you know in my mind I can say it in my mouth I can say it in my 
my heart, but for us to actually do it, because mm -hmm. that's my dude. I mean, mm -hmm. it's so surreal. I played in Europe, and literally this kid has been traveling with me in a stroller mm -hmm. on the sidelines when I was playing in Europe before the WNBA. Wow. And he's been in every single championship, every single team that I had to ch change. He always had to negotiate with him. Mm -hmm. And you know, when I had to change teams, he always had to find another school and make new friends. Mm -hmm. So I had to negotiate with him. And he'll say, oh, so they giving you how much money they giving you? <laughs> so they giving you benefits? <laughs> And I said, yeah. <laughs> and then his thing was like, okay, so what do I get? <laughs> oh, I like it. Uh, Training speaking, a businessman. Yeah. And he was like, you know what? Justin Bieber needs a mom like yes, you. Yes, please. Hey. Maybe you can help them. What would you say to Bieber at this point? I would, would say, you call your talk? mama. Mm. Are they See, partying with him. I don't know <laughs> if it's the mama. I don't okay. know if it's the mama. That's true. Okay. Now, the main issue is we saw Justin Bieber when mama was managing things, and mm. now we see Justin Bieber now. Mm. So mm. one of the issues, like I tell people, why I'm not a mama during my son knows, is that I don't care if he ever bounces a basketball, if he never bounces another basketball, if he makes it an NBA, it doesn't, I'm gonna still be his mama. Mm -hmm. When the world crucifies him, we talk about mother and business manager, I still manage, like sometimes he may do something and the world may crucify him, but he still can come home mm -hmm. to me. And I'm That's just true. like, it's all right, son, we're gonna get through it. Yeah. But as your business manager, you guys get into some heated discussions over, you know, how he should spend his money. I know one episode, he wanted to buy a $400,000 car. You were like, no, you're not getting that. I don't <laughs> care if you can't afford it. Why can't he have a Maybach? And he why does he have to ask? Ask his mommy. Like, yeah, it's not. Manager. It's not <laughs> ask me because basically uh -huh. he is a grown man mm -hmm. and he can And like he says in the show, it's my money. She right. can't tell me what to do with my money. <laughs> True. But uh -huh. I say, son, can we use this money a little bit differently? Mm -hmm. And um, and he also understands you play basketball for ten years, mm -hmm. but your money has to last for sixty years. That's a very good point. And also for him to be an astute businessman, and we got mm -hmm. all examples: Magic Johnson, Keyshawn, and those individuals handle their money on and off the court, and they mm -hmm. still in the game. They're yeah. not shooting a basketball. And right. in the other game. Yeah. And so, um, and what I always tell them, and that's what we're showing in our show. Mom's got a game on Saturdays on own that oh, yeah. I love it. We, but, we got you covered, girl. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna plug this the show. The main Don't you thing worry. is I always want him to know is that beyond anything, my mother cleaned toilets for $1.25 an hour. Mm. She sacrificed for all her children to go to college, college educated, got a degree in economics and finance from mm. USC, mm. Southern California, one of the most prestigious academic universities in the world. And that even though he signed for $44 million, I don't never let him forget your grandmother, rest in peace, mommy, sacrificed mm. so that I could go to the university and lay a path and now you coming behind me. Don't ever forget it. Mm. Sometimes we get to a point as African-Americans, oh, you know, I call it ego -librium or ego -librium. Mm. ego -librium is like, I'm glad you're doing your thing. I'm glad you're doing your thing. I'm glad Candy's doing her thing. Because if we all on this level, then we all eat. Yes. Love but ego -librium becomes the opposite. Mm. It's like, oh, it's all about me. I right, did right, this. Right, right. You know, ain't nobody helped me. I just showed up. No, bro, somebody spoke into your life. Mm -hmm. Somebody cleaned some toilets and somebody sacrificed. That's that old school. That's why Candy can take <clears throat> care of her mama, whether y'all mm -hmm. talk about her or not. Because right. she know for Candy to be Candy, Mama sacrificed, mm -hmm. and I respect that. She said, oh, y'all can talk about my mama all y'all want. I'm gonna always take care of my mama. That's that old school, what we learned in our African heritage. Well, you've also sacrificed a lot to get your son to where he is today, especially in the man department, because we see a lot of stuff <laughs> developing in your personal relationship Hey, where are those toys at? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe Jay can help you with a few things. What's it like? What's, Who's what's Jay? the real situation with you and Jay? Who's Jay? Your Manny, he, she calls Jay, him. Jay and I are not <laughs> doing each other. Everybody, mm -hmm. everybody thinks we're doing each other. Mm -hmm. What do y'all do? one day later in the first season? First of all, let's get something straight. <laughs> I'm a baller by heart, okay. okay? So you need to understand as professional basketball players, I grew up playing basketball with men. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's a code with basketball female players. When a man walks in the room, I'm like, oh yeah, that's my dude I play ball with. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then when a man walks in the room and I'm not playing, that's the man that I do. Oh, <laughs> okay. So what, oh, what are you doing? Do? There's two okay. separate yeah. categories. Uh -huh. So okay. I've always had male friends. Uh -huh. And then I've had men that are my man that I do. These are okay. dudes that I do basketball with. Oh. Got you. So you got your do men and your do basketball men. There you go. Okay, oh. I got it. Hey. <laughs> so we're clear now. Oh gosh. Speaking okay, so of basketball, go ahead, Lola. We're going to talk about the Olympics. Yes. My goodness. What was that experience like for you in 1984? Is that correct? Yes. My I was, uh, you know, the 84 was just a powerful year when I look back. Mm -hmm. You know, I think in April, I graduated. Well, in April, we won a national championship with mm -hmm. Cheryl Miller and Cynthia Cooper. Yeah. 
then that, that may have graduated in four years from University of Southern California with a degree in economics and finance. So that's why me being this business manager, I actually I qualify because I've actually been educated yes. on finance and business. And then that August, I won the first female women's basketball gold medal at mm. the Forum, the Los Angeles Forum in the 84 wow. Olympics. That was a Big and moment. my mom was there. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace, mommy. But she was that meant so much for me that she was in the States and she mm -hmm. had sacrificed so much. And here I get teary just thinking about it. That she actually was there mm -hmm. to witness me winning the gold medal. And I had mm -hmm. always told her. And that's why with Mom's Got Game, why we did it. Mm -hmm. Because I saw a lady, Lucia Harris, in mm -hmm. 76. She was 6'2, and I mm -hmm. saw her in the Ebony magazine. And I said, wow, they have women in the Olympics. And she looks like me. I saw all I had to see. I said, one day I won't be in the Olympics. Just from right. seeing that image. So when I see Michelle Obama, when I see a Candy Burr saying, look, you can own your own company. I'm a conglomerate. Mm -hmm. When we see Cynthia Cooper, who's also one of my friends, who came from Watson, now she's the head coach of the University of Southern California. Those are the images that our sisters need to see, with or without a man. Mm. Mm. I love that. Well, thank you for inspiring <laughs> us. As you can tell, she's also a motivational speaker. Yeah. Yes. Right. Mom's Got Game on Saturdays on, on the, the Oprah Netflix. Winfrey Network. Oprah Winfrey Network. Our first segment of Pete Woman Who Set the Standard. All wow. right. We'll be so checking you out every Saturday. Well, that every interview Saturday was a slam Thank dunk. <laughs> Thank, you Thank you very much. Thank I'm you very excited. Much. Mom's right. Got Game on Saturdays. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.